The words Kamzat Chimaev and hard fight haven't really been used together in the same sentence much in recent times. This incredible addition to the UFC welterweight and sometimes middleweight division has well and truly steamrolled his way through his first four matchups in the UFC, already bringing some uniquely ridiculous statistics to the table. And yes, obviously there was a lot of MMA over the last three weeks, and many topics that we'll be definitely digging into, including Islam Makachev's performance against Dan Hooker. But after diving into a few rewatch from Chimaev's career as a whole, I felt compelled to make another piece on Kamzat because even if we're in a period of downtime right now, that may well be more valuable and short than we realize, because the man could literally sign and take a fight on the shortest notice possible. And I love that about this guy's approach. Sure, his unfortunate brush with COVID-19 left his future completely up in the air, but upon dealing with that before returning in such impressive fashion against Li Jingliang, this future title contender has managed to once again elevate his name to the highest levels of the sport. In the the wake of that thoroughly dominant victory, I kind of wanted to paint a more vivid picture for myself of Kamza Chimaev because his entire run in the UFC up until this point has been such one-way traffic. And obviously it takes a very special, special type of fighter to make it so. But I have no doubt that like all fighters, we're eventually going to see Chimaev confronted with some form of resistance to his relentless pursuit of the takedown, especially if he does climb within reach of the Usmans and Covingtons of the division. And though he has encountered very little in the way of problems so far in his professional run, a jump back into his time fighting under the Brave CF banner gives us a better sample size from which to draw takes on Chimaev's potential. Brave is an organization I know pretty well. Many of the Irish fighters I've worked with over the years and interviewed have made appearances for them and just in general, it's always been a pretty decent place to spot up-and-comers in their earliest years. For what it's worth, Chimaev's pre-UFC run was no cakewalk and those first five pro outings saw him take on a couple of names that would go on to post pretty decent records afterwards. But the main standout for me was his 2019 clash against Ikram Alaskarov. Alaskarov is definitely one of the more interesting prospects to be in the middle of his rise from the Dagestan scene at the moment. A former combat sambo world champion who entered his battle with Chimaev with a record of 8-0 with 5 finishes. Obviously it's not a spoiler to reveal that Chimaev won the fight, but in the time since that outing, Alaskarov has elevated his record to 11-1 after a 3-fight streak of finishes to rebound bound from his defeat to Kamzat. But the point here is that this little pre-UFC gem saw Chimaev take on a very experienced Sambo practitioner, a man who was more than capable of stopping his takedown onslaught. I think he shot maybe three attempts over the course of the bout's runtime and was barely able to gain control. On top of that, he also got hit more in this matchup than his entire UFC career total combined. Now obviously, I say these things half jokingly, I'm not hating on the dude. And let me just point out that this fight, which arguably was the toughest of Kamzat's career, Career, lasted a grand total of 2 minutes and 26 seconds. When that takedown started to elude him, and he began to open up on the feet with his hands and eventually leg kicks, Kamzat managed to find one of the most picture-perfect short uppercuts imaginable, completely sparking Alaskarov there and then. Again, this video isn't intended as some grand statement about the wrestling dominance of Chimaev being thwarted, or how his stand-up skills are comparable to his takedown game. I just thought that this was a legitimately interesting early career matchup. Again, Against a very credible opponent who served up some thought-provoking problems for Kamzat, ones that he was forced to answer with one hell of a finish. Alaskarov is definitely a fighter I'll continue to keep a watch on, alongside the other members of the next incoming Dagestani wave. But for those of you who are just dying to get more insight into Kamzat Chimaev, this fight, along with many of his other early career bouts, are widely available on YouTube. On a side note, if you're enjoying this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads, before leaving a comment to let YouTube's algorithms know that we are fast becoming one of the best MMA channels on the platform. And I do have a feeling that this victory is going to age quite well, as Alaskarov continues to make his own ascent into the sport's upper echelons. I'm still not convinced that Chimaev is the man to beat Usman. I think it's just a safe approach to take, even if I still firmly believe that he's one of the best prospects in the sport. But just like any eagerly anticipated rise, the bigger the challenges get, the more questions that this incredibly gifted fighter will be forced to answer. And if we're looking at forecasting how Kamzat might deal with such adversity, I just liked in this fight how his inability to score the takedown saw him adapt and overcome, getting the better of what could have been a far more difficult task. The guy has power in his hands as we all know, 
but there was a precision to that uppercut that I would be very encouraged by if I were one of his psycho diehard fans. Now obviously his striking isn't elite by any means, but this guy's intensity in there, the fight that's ingrained into him, something he shows us in glimpses through his ferocity and overall gamesmanship. Yeah, it's hard not to be very hopeful about his chances of breaking into title contention next year. And without any real overarching narrative to this video, I just wanted to share this interesting piece of the Kamza Chimaev backstory with you guys, because all that's going to do is further the excitement when he does eventually make his next walk. For now, I await that announcement and based on his history, I'd imagine that we won't be waiting for too long before we're given another look at this scintillating prospect. As I said in the previous video, even with his number 10 rank in mind, I don't exactly want to see him fast track to the title. I'd prefer another fight or two before we really start talking about him as a top 3 welterweight. I want this for him because he's young, because he's still clearly improving, and because the sports pound for pound number 1 currently sits on the throne, and should absolutely not be underestimated in his potential to do some very nasty things to Chimaev if he's not fully ready. I can definitely see Kamzat becoming a champion, like a lot of you, but let's just savor this hugely valuable and compelling period of his career for now. But how far do you think that Kamzat Chimaev can go within the welterweight and perhaps even middleweight divisions? Do let us know your opinions in the comments section below, we always love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like before subscribing to the channel so you can stay up to date with all of our latest uploads. Thank you for watching. Thank you.